the eating anything until we know for sure when it is. If it's going to be a while, um, like if they're not going to be able to do it today and have to push it down until tomorrow or another day, then we'll let you eat as soon as we know that. So, um, and then your radiation is at three. And other than that, there's no major changes from our end today. We're just kind of trying to help make sure everything is good. Do you have any, like, anything new that's bugging you or worrying you this morning? No, so my appointment's at 3.40. You're going to work on what? So we're, the, we're your primary team, so the family right. medicine team. So we just help to manage your overall care and help to make sure that all the specialists are staying in communication and that everything is well coordinated. Okay. So um, so that's our role, is kind of the overarching um, picture. Um, no, I mean, yeah, really, the only questions that I have are making sure I can get back on an eating schedule if I'm mm -hmm. not going to have this procedure. I don't want to have a repeat of yesterday with the confusion and stuff. I want to make sure that we move all of these chairs before she's done. Um, yeah, to just get all of the floor, um, including underneath all of this. Um, it just stresses me out, which makes my heart rate go up yeah. and my pain go up and I just try to stay super relaxed which sometimes can be fatigue. Sometimes people seem to mis mistake as fatigue. Mm -hmm. I have like the worst dry mouth and I can't do anything about it between swishing and spitting and swishing my biotin and spitting. Yeah. It's just like every two minutes I have to do that. I was asking if before we're done if we can, are able to move the chairs back and make sure we get we did just we move all the chairs and this thing and get all up under here. Oh, I got under. I got underneath all the chairs. I got underneath here. I moved your table. Well. You did? Yeah. Okay. You guys were talking. Alrighty. Yeah, I got it. So, but you want the chair moved back over here? Is that no, it's fine. I just wanted, just wanted to make covered. sure that the floors got thoroughly covered. That was yeah. all. They did. Yeah. Yep. a lot better. And then in the bathroom. Because, like, yesterday something spilled in there. My mom had to wipe it down, and the rag was black. No, Just Any, like, this is ridiculous. Anything new, that's, mm -hmm. anything new that's hurting you today? Um, just my back, okay. really. It's kind of the same area that's been hurting. Yeah, my chest right here hurts, but I had a pretty good cough yeah. uh, fest yesterday. Yeah, is the and cough better this morning? Mm -hmm. so is the cough doing better today so far? Yeah, I got it to calm down, Good. and then I got it to stay away, but that took quite a bit of effort of not talking, you know, not moving, being very careful about my spit, using the little phlegm thing to kind of just suck it all out to keep anything from going back down to okay. create a, any bigger ball to come up. Mm-hmm. Um, okay. What about your stomach? Feeling still feeling kind of nauseate, nauseated today? Uh, it's it's really sort of a mixture of sensory and stuff. Moving too fast. Okay. And I'm not necessarily ready for it. Okay. When it it doesn't feel like I'm not ready for it while I'm doing it, but whoop, it catches up with me gotcha. three or four seconds later, and it's like you should slow down. Okay. Then Any I'm kind of like, maybe I should slow down. Not really. She was pushing on me and pushing on me. and Okay. She was pushing over here and worried about it. I mean, she pushed, I felt like, harder than over there, over here. Mm -hmm. And I was like, I mean, it's a little tender, but... but nothing too bad. Nothing hurts. There's no, like, sharp pains. Good. All right. So I have another tender? really dry mouth. No, it's okay. I have bio team, but I get really um, paranoid about what I put in my mouth and what I'm coating my mouth with, mouth with, because that will potentially have to do with what comes up. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Think, yeah. <laughs> I was worried about it thickening my spit. It shouldn't, because that's not what it's designed to do. I mean, if you find that you're doing it and that's what it's doing, let us know. But it shouldn't, shouldn't cause any problem with thickening your spit. 
Okay. I'm just going to listen here if that's okay. Keep looking at that. Okay, again. Sound nice and clear today. For now. So I'm just gonna press on you here. Um, so we're gonna keep the antibiotics going. Um, we have some blood cultures and stuff cooking. So far, nothing's growing, which is good. Well, but it's still really up in there. Okay. Um, any burning when you pee? It's or not like pee? that tender. It's really just so slightly. And you can pull it out. There's a little bit coming out. And, and, and I have these weird little random light fevers. Mm -hmm. Just. Yeah, and that's why we started the antibiotics, just because with everything else going on, um, you they'll know, get it right away. Yeah, we don't want to wait until you've got a real bad infection going. Um, so we want to make sure that we're sure. that. And we have cultures going to kind of try to look for the source of infection, um, and those will help us. They take a couple days to grow. So we won't know the final results for a few days, but so far, um, nothing's happening. So everything looks good. So if anything changes, let us know. Um, and as soon as we know for sure on the scheduling, um, of the set today, we'll let you know. And if it's not going to happen today, we will let you eat at the very moment that we find out. And that's pretty painless, right? The set, yeah, they'll make sure that you're nice and comfortable. Because I don't feel like I fully have had that, like, to me. 